Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm great, Agnes. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for taking the time and joining us today. Absolutely. So let's talk kindness, right? Celebrating kindness. Uh, so for some people, it can be a little hard to do. Some people are afraid to ask for it. What's your advice on sharing kindness? Oh, gosh, uh, there's so many different ways that we can all share kindness as we're out and about in the world. I think my number one tip is to remind yourself that it's free to be kind, right? We don't have to overthink it. Something as simple as a smile or waving to someone when you're crossing the street, uh, giving that person, you know, the wave in the rearview mirror when they let you in in traffic. Those are all free, easy ways to show kindness each and every day. Um, I also think, though, that folks can really use Random Acts of Kindness Day to take things a step further, right? Start close to home, check in with your neighbors, see if people need help bringing in garbage bins or picking up litter off the street. Um, if you're in an area that maybe has had a, a storm recently, you may want to check in with your neighbors and see if anybody needs any help. Those are all really, really great ways to show kindness. With the kindness, right? So with neighbors, especially you mentioned during winter events, what if, you know, we have those people, those neighbors, family, friends that just have always struggled to ask for help because it's not that they don't want to, but it's just like it's almost like they take so much pride in themselves where it's like, no, I've got this. I don't I don't need help. But deep down, they're probably thinking, yes, I wish they could help me, but I I can't build myself to ask them for help. What kind of advice would you give to those people? Yeah, you know, that is that is such a good point. Um, and I think for those folks, I I would just encourage y'all to remember that, um, you know, it feels really good. Kindness is a win win on both sides, right? Like for the person receiving the kindness, it feels good for the person giving the kindness. It feels good. So it's not a burden to ask for help. And in fact, when you're able to ask for help, you can actually give people more direction on what it is you need. And you would be surprised to see who shows up. You know, we're not mind readers and everybody has a really, really busy days going on. And some people can help in different ways than others. The right people who know how to do that will lean in and always come come and help you out. Um, I'll give you a quick story. I was talking with a woman in Pennsylvania a couple of weeks ago. They just had a bad snowstorm. She normally is totally on top of all of her snow shoveling, but she had just had surgery and the doctor was like, sorry, you cannot lift a snow shovel. You cannot shovel your, your snow. And so she went on to next door and she used our ask for help a hashtag. And she asked someone, uh, explain the situation and asked if someone would come help her shovel her driveway. And sure enough, um, within one hour of her posting, another neighbor saw the post, sent her a message, confirmed that him and his son could come by to come clean it up. And her driveway had been completely shoveled within that hour. So just goes to show that, um, you know, try to give it a chance and, and asking for help can really lead to some amazing results. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the next door, uh, just a uh, highlight on next door and mention a little bit on that app and what you just said. Yeah, so Nextdoor is the neighborhood app. It is designed to connect you to your neighbors, to local businesses, the, basically the people in the places that are near you. Um, it's free to use, it's free to download. You can go to the App Store or the Google Play Store to download it. We also have a website, so you can go on next door just you know, from your computer. And um, we're really all about helping to connect people in their neighborhoods so that they can help build closer, more tight knit communities um, where people you know, really have a place that that they can rely on. So that's what we're all about. And that's why we love kindness so much is because kindness and gratitude, all of that helps to, to make for a strong local community. Of course. And with the app, is it, you mentioned it's for free. Uh, is there like uh, for a filter or radius, like within the neighborhood, like how far does it go? Is it in only close proximity of miles? So we actually take care of all of that for you. Um, we have a lot of interesting technology uh, behind the scenes, um, but you can definitely filter to see, you know, just your core neighborhood, um, or you can filter to see posts from from farther away. It really depends on you and, and what it is that you want to see. But generally speaking, we want to try to connect you with the places that are nearest to you, that are most interesting to you and the most relevant to you. And so that's what what we work on.
Okay, and then once again, the app can be just downloadable, downloadable off your app, off your phone, Google Play. Yep, that's right. You just go open up your Google Play Store, your App Store, you search for Nextdoor, all one word, and uh, you'll see us there, a bright green logo. Okay, well, thank you, Katie, so much for your time, for joining us, for spreading the act of kindness and taking the time to talk about being kind. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.